Moon. Is it working? Good to go, we're good to go, good to go. So you should have returned to episode 7 of Dr. Stone. And as we know, episode 6 actually was really freaking good, actually. It kind of was the start of, like, the plan to motion in the way. And them kind of splitting up, and in sync, we're actually finding a new character. And actually, what does she kind of bring to the whole entire table? That's the real question here. So, yes, yeah, so we have to wait and see what doesn't really happen. But so far, it's actually kind of really good, actually. Six episodes into the show itself. And it's showing any signs of kind of, like, being... Not very good. It's kind of the best way to describe it. So, anyways, actually, point that Twitter actually go live. So, it's gone live for episode seven of Doctor Stone. And with that, I believe we are good to go. But are we though? Is the question I ask. On that front, I certainly are. On this front, I certainly are as well. We're working on both fronts today. We're good to go, lads. We're good to go. So, anyway, it's Sean and Road. So, in three, two, one. That's like the thing, absolutely now. I also did start the, the timer actually that time as well. <laughs> Not like last time. It's weird to think that Senku is actually kind of like a massive like breath of fresh air, considering he's actually kind of um, he's he 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 sits inside of the sits inside like the um, the envelope of that kind of character who's very smart for a world like this. For some reason, his charisma is so goddamn good. Yeah, it's it's really strange considering the fact, as I said beforehand, he's he exists in that kind of uh, envelope, but generally he's actually really goddamn good. Like he's kind of he's fun to watch. If you get what I mean? Which is actually kind of hard to pull off. I don't know if I actually mentioned this beforehand, but it's one of those things. Him as a character is kind of a, a make or break in the end. You have to kind of balance him perfectly so he doesn't actually kind of feel as if you're kind of like, oh well, if if he's so smart for this world, then what's the point? Like, is that, is that kind of problem that some shows tend to kind of fall into? But at least with this show, the actual world itself seems unpredictable enough that if anything happens, you know that there might be a 50-50 chance that he might, like, kind of, I don't know, get hurt or possibly die. Who knows? So it kind of changes that whole entire perception that you have on the on the events of the show itself, considering that maybe, possibly, that anything can actually happen at any given point. So it's one of those things, as I said beforehand, even if you do lean into the whole entire, like, things of what we know beforehand, it generally, if you actually know what you're doing, it can free be still really good.
So I should do kind of hope the show actually doesn't freaking continue like this for the whole entire time because it might even be kind of cool. I guess one of the other things about this show is actually quite good as well. Each character's been very kind of feel like they're characters that might inhabit this world, if you get what I mean. They feel natural. That was pretty impressive, to be honest. <laughs> they built an entire, like, car, and then they drove it, and then um, it broke, and they actually managed to save the whole entire jar at the exact same time. That is impressive. Very impressive. Also, I guess the other thing about this show is actually kind of really freaking cool as well, is actually be able to see how different civilizations actually kind of work in conjunction with each other as well, I guess, in a way, as time goes on, possibly, maybe. And also how these different civilizations actually just kind of live on their own.
Is it just me or anyone for anyone that's actually named um Crom or um Chrome which is gonna have like the like the biggest aurora of cool around them? It's just the thing. You're just cool if you're called Crom or Chrome. It's just one of those things. That is some sorcery right there. That is some top level sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're basically outsourcing out sorcery, out sorcery each other at the time you actually use <laughs> outsourcing each other but using like stuff that we have that we otherwise know in like normal society I think that's kind of cool
be kind of crazy actually doesn't really create Westworld at the end of it. He just, <laughs> just kind of goes so goddamn far that he actually kind of creates artificial intelligence as well. And then just the whole entire thing just kind of just goes out of control after that point afterwards. So I guess one of the things that might be interesting to see if he actually doesn't really kind of do the whole um, science world is if there's any repercussions that come with it. This show is really goddamn cool, though. Like, outside of everything else, this show is goddamn cool. <laughs> Man, I actually want to play Monster Hunter as well. God damn it.
I guess it's also interesting the characters all have a reason to fight as well in this world. It's always like, there's always a reason to what to what they're doing as well, which actually kind of makes it a little bit better, I think. As the time goes, I might learn more about this village as well and actually what's going on here, but it's pretty cool so far. Senku is so goddamn cool as well, to be honest. He's so cool. I guess one of the major things that she's kind of cool about this show is the fact that the way the world's advancing in this part of the universe, technically speaking, this like universal line, isn't very much too similar to how the universe might have actually kind of might have actually kind of developed as time went on in the original kind of version of our world. I guess in a way, I guess since I yeah, I guess he's kind of now gone to the antibiotics kind of territory of um of like life, which probably happened like what maybe. A whole lot a while ago. <laughs> That's kind of the best way to describe it. But you get what I mean. Like it's it's advancing at quite a rapid rate, but at the same time, the way it's doing it's quite organic in the sense that it's it's not as if he's made a car out of nothing. Basically, if you get what I mean, he hasn't just kind of wished the whole entire car out of the out of the sky. He hasn't got bricks out of nowhere. He hasn't he hasn't kind of got all those kind of things just yet. It's kind of like he's st it's still very primitive at the moment, but it's logically advanced to the point that stuff like antibiotics can in theory be created because he knows how to do it. But at the same time, the way the world's go, the way the world is, is not too dissimilar to actually how it might have actually happened. So I really, I really do kind of like it for that reason. Like it's not as if it's kind of like he's just created like the whole entire universe in a space of, like six episodes. No, it's kind of advancing with. At, at how it actually would advance if Wad was like this, but kind of at a very kind of fast rate, technically speaking, in his kind of in his, his kind of world. So yeah, that was that was episode seven, which was actually really goddamn good, I must say. It's one of those ones that really kind of it, it heightens the fact that this world isn't too hollow in a sense. Like it's not it's not too out it's not too like oh there's just Senku and ev and everyone we've seen so far and everyone else is just kind of there. No, every single person's kind of got a reason to be there, which is actually is kind of nice because and it's not as if it's actually a lot of people either. The people we actually we kind of get are are great enough that we actually kind of very kind of just um, want to know more about them. So those things, it's not as if it's like this world's quite empty in the in scope, but in the sense of characterization, it's quite grandiose. I actually kind of like that because it gives enough time for these characters to develop and actually have a meaningful character arc. Because ho so hopefully, 
as time goes, I'm actually going to see more of them. But yeah, I mean, this episode actually kind of just brought in more characters that I actually kind of do enjoy, and I actually want to see how they, um, how they develop as time goes, and actually how they might infer defeat or his actual kind of illness. It's one of those things that it kind of makes us wonder what, how they would do it and what, and what does actually come with it, because again, doing it is one kind of half of the whole entire show, but it's how they do it is the other half of the whole entire show is actually kind of more interesting. So I actually want to see how they do it and actually what happens there, but yeah. At the same time, I actually kind of like that, um, in a way, Senka does actually know about this relationship beforehand. So it's kind of one of those things, it reminds me a lot of when you see in films that th that person lives long enough to actually kind of tell the other person beforehand how life was back before something happens. I always kind of like that about characters because one of the things that it kind of it kind of then in a way breeds hope into the people that she kind of then bring that world to what it was beforehand sometimes especially in this case it kind of doesn't free feel as if they want to bring the world back to where it was before and actually kind of possibly even maybe develop even further to where it was before and actually kind of maybe even just iron out some blemishes that actually actually didn't free have before by pos also possibly creating some more who knows that's actually actually the other thing I actually want to see more of is if they're actually kind of doing very um make this world what's the kind of repercussions that come with it because we actually know Sukasa is one of them so it's one of those things you can't really you can't really dictate how people are going to be when the, once the world comes back but it's one of those things I actually wonder what the technology come the technology that comes with it what's going to happen there with the actual kind of world will there actually be kind of repercussions in that context I actually want to see what happens if, what doesn't really happen there because it kind of fetches the world out even more because then you know as an audience that it's not as if it's sunshine and rainbows for Senku's character either because science doesn't really actually have that double-edged sword that it doesn't really advance the world but in the same time it can very create conflict as well but it's one of those things that it's still t it's still too early to tell what's gonna happen with the show, but I mean, so far the show's actually really goddamn good. I thought that actually was a kind of a nice breath of fresh air as well. It's one of those things that kind of it had comedy, it had everything. It actually had some kind of drama as well. It actually doesn't really make me want to go. Ooh, what's happening there? What's happening there? But yeah, I mean, I actually hope the show doesn't really free continue like this for the rest of the runtime. It actually is kind of enjoyable. It's just, it's just goddamn cool to watch how these people do and free live, because it's very much different to our own and. At the same time, there's more at disposal that she kind of create this kind of more interesting world than possibly what we're seeing currently. So again, it's one of those things that only time will tell how the show will develop, but so far, I really do like it. So yeah, that is me done for today. So as always, if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on Twitch, then do leave a follow on Twitch because indeed it's done quite a bit. If you have enjoyed it here on YouTube and you do want to leave a like, then do leave a like because indeed it's done quite a bit. If you have enjoyed it here on YouTube and you do want to spend longer, then do leave a sub because indeed it's done quite a bit. If you have enjoyed it here on YouTube and you want to spend longer the whole entire point in doing free, follow me on Twitter or on Discord as well. Both will tell you things or live issues I do as well. But until next episode 8 of Doctor Stone, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.